On August 19, 2017, 15 houses at Hanuabada went down in a disastrous fire. A day later, three more houses also burned down. That day will always be remembered by the victims of the fire, as it was a day that changed their lives. In the efforts to help these families, appeal committees were set up and many donated in cash and kind. About one million kina has been raised. However, the progress of rebuilding the houses has been quite slow. Although six houses have already been built, these houses are incomplete. Uh, buildings, materials are yet to be supplied uh, from BNBM and also we're waiting mainly on the electrical side of things and also the plumbing for uh, toilets and uh, bathrooms. Another victim, Sisiya No, said that his family is still living in tents. I'm not really sure what's really going on, but uh, as soon as uh, the people come, you know, they will be able to, they will be in a better position to uh, explain as to why uh, there is a little bit of delay over here. Because Chairman of Hanuabada Fire Committee, Lohia Samuel, said that the building process takes time, especially the posts for the houses. When when a po post that you know brought in from I think Central Province, they they need to lie in the salt water for about a month. Yeah, about a month, even some, some, the longer it stays in the salt water, the, the stronger they are. So that, that has co caused uh, some delays as well, as you can see. So, uh, you can see all the, the, the dark looking ones, they look really strong. And if you, if you just bring them and put them, they'll just break. So they have to lie in the salt water for at least two months. He also stated that the slowness of suppliers and the weather has caused the rebuilding of the houses to not progress as expected. Many of the houses should be completed in the next three to four months. Lilian Soperakinea, National MTV News.